Okay, you guys, this is chapter two of, um, what the hell is the story called again? It is all, uh, all falls down. Okay. Um, walking down the hall towards the headmaster's office. It was surreal. This place didn't look like a high school. I swear on my life, this school was a former castle. There's red carpet for floors and pictures of former students that look like supermodels. How was I, a girl from everywhere and nowhere, supposed to survive in a place like this? It's going to be a nightmare. What's up, eh? Take your head off, little girl. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Headmaster Charles. <laughs> this must be our new student, Dove Kennedy. That's me. I believe your class is about to start, Miss Dixon. I'll see you in class, Dove. That was weird. I've always been good at reading people. Every single person has their obvious tales that show what kind of person they are. I was not good in getting good vibes from him. I've been looking through your file, Mrs. Kennedy. Well, Miss Kennedy. And I'm not sure what I see. I've had a trouble pass. I've noticed that. The only reason you're in this school is because Miss Dixon. Miss Dixon convinced the school board to allow you in. I, on the other hand, am not too fond of relying on your stress. <laughs> Stray dogs into our school. I'm sorry. What did you just call me? You heard me. One wrong move and you're out. Am I clear, Miss Kennedy? Crystal. You're no longer needed. Bitch, I'd have punched him. I'd have been out today. Who the hell does he think he is? Stray dog. What an ass. And what do your fucking fire head at looking ass worm? Sounds like you just had a meeting with Mr. Wonderful. Is he always like that? Unfortunately. <laughs> We've all gotten used to it, some more than others. Comforting. You must be Dove Campaign. Why do you know who I am? It's a small school. Oh, is it really a small school, though? Or maybe I'm student council president, which also makes me your welcome buddy for the week. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. My son's waking up from a nap. <laughs> welcome, buddy. It's not as cheesy as it sounds. <laughs> Uh, I show you around school, sit with you at lunch. Uh -oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sit with you at lunch and make sure you're. <coughs> Stop. Uh, where was I at? Uh, sit with you at lunch and make sure you. Stop. Oh my. Uh, sir, sir, calm down. So you're like a for, you're like forced <laughs> to be my friend. No, thank you. Come on, I'm not that bad. Sorry, guys, he has a cold. So he's breathing so bad. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was obviously laying it on thick. He was a natural born leader and shined through every pore in his body. He knew how to get what he wanted. He was actually kind of sexy. Oh, I'm sorry, Gray. Okay. I was it was actually kind of sexy. Okay, come here. Uh oh. Cancel. Sorry, guys. Who are you anyway? 
I can't believe I didn't introduce myself. I'm Sean Axton. Sexy name. Not really, but okay. What are you thinking, Dove? No guy like that would ever want anything to do with me, at least not for real. So, Dove, are you ready for your first class? No, but I don't think that matters. Come on, we have a first period together. Scared the shit out of me. Right, here we go with these little bitchy students. Good morning, class. I hope you're excited for our new semester of American literature. So that's what she teaches. I had no idea. I'm excited to introduce you all to our new student, Dove Kennedy. Oh, girl. Dove, would you like to come up here and say a few words about yourself? No, girl. Yeah, no, I'm good. It's okay. We won't force you to come up here. Wuss. Your mother is a fucking wuss. Alright. Let's get started with today's lesson. What would I have expected their cafeteria to look anything like the other five-star restaurant? Oh, wait, I mean, anything other than a five-star restaurant. Dove, over here. Sean, you broke, girl. Guess that's my cue. This is quite the cafeteria. What, your last school cafeteria didn't look like this? My last ten schools didn't look anything like this. In fact, I don't think I've ever been ever even been in a restaurant that looked this nice. Not exactly. Where are you from? Anyway, be vague. Uh, I've been around he here and there. <laughs> it's very specific. <laughs> <laughs> and who do we have here? Jill, this is Dove. Dove, this is Chill. Remember what I said about reading people? This girl is fake. Unbelievably fake. You're still coming to my party tonight, right? I told you I'd be there, Jill. Can't wait. Well, she's a peach. <laughs> Girlfriend? Yeah. Been two years. Wow, two years. That's impressive. Of course he has a girlfriend. Blonde and bitchy. The typical. Yeah, she's great. You might want to try to sound more sure about that, Sean. Finally, the the last class of the day. I think I'm late there. There's only one seat left. This spot taken? All yours, new girl. Dove. I know. And you are? Yana, nice to meet you. You two new girl. Oh, wait. You two new girl. Girl, my name is not motherfucking new girl. Thank God the day is over. So, how was your first day? Let's just say I'm happy to get the hell out of here. We're that bad. This just isn't my scene. Then what is your scene? You don't want to know. Try me. Dove? Can I talk to you for a second? Sorry, maybe next time. I should get going. I have to go to work. Where do you work? Dove? I'll see you later. Where are you going? I was going to shower. I want to wash the smell of X body spray off and the X body spray and uh, Chanel number five off me. What did I do now? 
I want to know all about your first day. I saw you talking to a very to a very nice Sean Axon. Not to mention handsome. He's my welcome buddy Rose. It's nothing. How was the rest of your day? As much as I would love the whole how was your day conversation, I've got somewhere to be. Where are you going? To work. You got a job already? That's great. It's at the little diner over in 12. Are you sure that's a good idea? Um, You were just pro-job. What happened? That place is really sketchy, Dove. I don't want you getting hurt. Stop worrying about me, Rose. I've never had anyone care about me before, and I don't need your fake caring now. I know that yelling at Rose hurt her feelings, but I didn't have time to think. If I didn't leave within the next 10 minutes, I was going to be late to my first shift. Being late on your first day is not a great way to keep your job. And I really need this job if I'm ever going to get out of here. Just in time. Welcome to your first shift. You said you wouldn't be working today, but you're here. I switched shifts so I could be the one to train you. You didn't have to do that. I know. I wanted to. Come on, let's get started. A few hours later, I was finally getting the hang of things. It's okay. Sierra told me that I needed to restock the pastry shelves. So that's what I was doing. <laughs> Booby, what's the matter? <laughs> you guys, he's kind of sleep making this noise. I'm sorry. I was doing a pretty good job until I heard a familiar, a faintly familiar <laughs> voice. I already told you I would. Sean? Girl, no. Who the hell got time for him? Why did you want to come all the way out to this dump? <laughs> They don't even have good lighting in here. Ken and Barbie requested you be their waitress. They did? Good luck, Tiger. I'm sorry. What can I get you to? I'll have a salad. No dressing. And for you? I didn't even want to look at him. He must have stalked me or something. I have a burger. Coming right up. I'll be right back, Jill. Why do you look upset to see me? Did you follow me here or something? Are you that upset I didn't <laughs> <laughs> like your precious prep school? I didn't follow you here, so you just happened to come by my work my work hours after me after asking me where I worked. North Philly has the best burgers. This is my favorite place to get them. You don't strike me as someone who would ever come to North Philly. Maybe you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Nice uniform, by the way. Oh, you think you're funny, girl. Okay. <coughs> I take it you know them. You could say that. Yeah. I've never seen the, the guy before. Well, the girl looks really familiar. You recognize Jill, but not Sean? Mm -hmm. He told me he gets burgers here all the time. <coughs> never seen him. <laughs> what is that? I finished my shift with only breaking one plate. And spilling two drinks. I call it a, su a, su a successful day. <laughs> I was still a little witted out by the whole Sean thing. Because I think he's a fucking stalker. Maybe this guy just really was just really passionate about his school and really wanted to make sure I saw it in all its glory. 
Or he was a stalker. He's a fucking stalker. <laughs> oh, look at who we have here. I thought I smelled death <laughs> in, a, in a stick. Hell no, not death in a stick, baby. I'll take it you don't smoke. I never said that. Doesn't mean they're not death sticks. I can't seem to figure you out, Dove. The perks of being able to read people very well is that I'm an expert on hiding my own feelings. I know how to pack on, um, pack on emotion so deep inside me that it'll never get out. Well, they'll never get it out. Um, it wasn't surprising that he couldn't read me. What surprised me was that he was even trying. What do you mean? You have, like, no emotion on your face. Your dark eyes conceal any hint of feeling you may have. Dark eyes for a dark soul. You kind of scare me, tough. <laughs> then my plan is working. What are you doing tonight? Why? What do you have in mind? Want to go to a party with me? Sure. Well, I'm not one to say no to a party. Then let's go. Wait, I don't get to go change? To be continued. Okay. Alright, y'all. That was episode two. Oh, and guys, look. I'm only one person. I can only make so many episodes a freaking day. Like, get off my head. I mean, if you have another story that you want to recommend, good. But if you... It's already a story that you recommended. I've written it down. And I will get to it as soon as I can, sweet. So... Next time, you guys.